Lesson 1 Artistic Sense Talking about Art and Culture Raj, a tourist guide, is interacting with Matthew, who is a tourist visiting Jodhpur in Rajasthan. Listen to their conversation and fill in the gaps in your book by choosing the correct options. Raj, could I get a photograph beside this cannon? Sure, Mr. Matthew. Here, let me take the picture. Thanks. How's it? Let me see. Did you get the skyline? Wow, the background is perfect. The setting sun with its soothing colors. I'm going to have this picture framed. You're good with the camera, Raj. Have you learned photography professionally? No, not professionally. Just the experience, you know. I'm glad you liked the click. You can really become a professional photographer. The earlier click too, during the camel ride was good. I prefer being the tourist guide, sir. I enjoy going around the beautiful spots in Jodhpur and sharing the stories, legends, art, culture, cuisine and history of this wonderful place and people. The Mehrangarh Fort holds a special attraction for me, sir. <laughs> well said, young man. I don't wonder. This fort is an exceptional architectural delight. I wish I could have clicked pictures in the museum. The ornate palanquins, sword hills in jade, shields studded with rubies, emeralds and pearls, and guns with gold and silver work on the barrels were breathtaking. Yes, sir. The tourists I take on rounds are captivated by the beauty and the history of Jodhpur and Mehrangarh. Be it the ornate red sandstone carvings, the gallery of paintings, ornate palanquins in the Dalat Khana, the mirror work in the Shish Mahal, the gold paintings of Pool Mahal, the lavish interiors of Takht Nivas, the Jharokhas of Jhaki Mahal, or even the blue houses of Brahmin community which surround the fort. Undoubtedly, that's the reason it's a must-visit city for the tourists visiting Rajasthan. So, what should be our next destination? What does the itinerary say? The Marwar festival is on. So I was wondering if you would like to attend that for some time after the dinner tonight? The fairs and festivals of Rajasthan are a great attraction for tourists. These fairs and festivals give you a peek into the rich culture and tradition of the state. The Marwar festival of Jodhpur is one of the most awaited festivals of Rajasthan. This festival is celebrated with a lot of excitement and zeal. Oh, great! What is this festival about, by the way? The Marwar festival in Jodhpur actually commemorates the heroes of Rajasthan. This festival attracts a large number of foreign tourists. One gains a lot of knowledge about the heroes of the bygone era of Rajasthan. The festival also includes a number of cultural events such as music and dance which make the festival more attractive. These cultural events are a great source of both entertainment and information for the visitors. This is really interesting. I would certainly enjoy some of the dance and music performances. I love the colorful outfits they wear. And the turbans are quite attractive. I was wondering if I could get one of those turbans to take back with me as souvenir. Turbans? Sure, sir. Why not? We can visit the marketplace tomorrow morning. The bazaars of Jodhpur have a lot to offer, such as handloom, embroidered leather shoes, antiques, puppets, the exquisite Rajasthani textiles,
ivory and wooden handcrafted miniature camels and elephants, jewellery and what not. You must take some of them with you as gifts for your loved ones. They will remind you of the land of bravery and valour. <laughs> Fine. We will keep the market for tomorrow. This evening, I would like to see some of those dance performances and click pictures. Yes, sir. Surely. The dance performances provide a deep insight into the rural life of the people of Rajasthan. The postures and movements of the dancers carrying pots on their heads and earthen lamps in their hands are mesmerizing. Their bright outfits and traditional jewelry are a treat to the eye. These performances are usually held at the Umed Bhavan Palace in Mandor and even here at Mehrangal Fort. Here at Mehrangal Fort? Wow! I'm sure the setting is going to be very romantic with the sound of music in the dark amidst the walls which have old stories to tell. <laughs> right, sir. But we really need to rush now. We can have a quick tea break right now and then I will take you to a place nearby which serves excellent Rajasthani food which is not that spicy. I must say that you're lucky to have chosen this time of the year for a visit. September, October is the best time to visit Jodhpur. There's a lot that happens here in these two months. Really, I'm lucky to be here. Okay, let's go. Tell me about the cuisine of Jodhpur. Jodhpur, sir, is famous for its sweets and spicy snacks. Tomorrow for breakfast, we will try out the mirchi bada and onion kachori. Do you have a sweet tooth? Then you must try the laddus. They will just melt in your mouth. But tonight, you must try out the specialty of Rajasthan, dal bati churma. You will simply lick your fingers and smack your lips. And before you leave from Jodhpur, I will make sure you taste a glass of buttermilk. It's tasty as well as healthy. <laughs> well, well, I'm a complete foodie. You will not be able to keep me away from the sweets and snacks of Jodhpur. I would like to try as many as possible. Let's hurry. My stomach is already rumbling with hunger after the long list of dishes you have named. I'm sure they all will be delicious. <laughs> okay, let's go then. <laughs> 